Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I want to show you how to visualize the null space of a vector. So we have the sample vector over here, 1, 2, 5, and the equation would be ax equals 0, so to find the null space of this vector. And as you might know, this is a um, rank 1 matrix. Basically, it's just one row, so a vector. And therefore, it has rank 1. The first entry here is the pivot. And by the rank nullity theorem, we also know the dimension of the null space. So it's rank of A plus nullity of A equals N. And thereby, we know if this is 1, rank 1, the null space has to be two-dimensional. So it's two-dimensional null space. And what does this now look like in space? So to visualize it, I created this function over here in Python using the Plotly library, but I don't want to go into the details of um, the function itself. I just want to show you the output, which is as such. So this over here is visualizing the vector in three-dimensional space. So the blue line is the vector, and this here, this plane, this two-dimensional plane, is visualizing the null space, the related null space. I can also move it around. This is interactive, as you see. So this is x, y, and z. And this um, plane over here, the gray plane, is just visualizing the x, y plane. So we see where the zero is over here. And I think this is a pretty nice visual because what you see is that the vector and the uh, null space, they are orthogonal. So this is always the case. The null space is always orthogonal to the vector. And um, therefore, we also call them orthogonal complements. And um, yeah, this is basically the main takeaway over here. Um, the null space and the row space the row space which makes up the vector in this case, are orthogonal complements in Rn. So we couldn't just have um, two lines in three-dimensional space. They wouldn't add up to um, the third dimension. So we always have to have 1D plus 2D in this case. So we get um, three dimensions. And um, the null space contains all vectors perpendicular to the row space. So this is basically what is seen over here. If you're interested in more details, please check out the link in the show notes, which is linking to the MIT lecture, which served as the basis for this short video. I'm just extending on the discussed topics over there and mainly wanted to show you this nice um, visual so you get a better idea of what it looks like in space.